Okay, let me explain projects from uh, my angle as the instructor. So in your module, you have a teacher um, video doing this project, one, two, two, four, two, one, and there's not one that does this one, four. So this is the one I always explain um, when I do the Zoom session. But since some of you didn't make it to the Zoom session, let me uh, quickly explain a few things about projects. There's also a vid visual, uh, video in your module from the author of your textbook that talks about um, the upload and download process, but I will do that also. So I, I recommend you go watch that. It's very short. Um, so in projects, you always have a start file, and here we are with the start file. I've already downloaded this, um, so I'm not going to do that again. It's a Word document, and here are the directions. So you can print out these directions if you want. Right here's the print button. Um, I've already done this project a couple of times this term, so um, I'm going to leave my previous attempts here. You can see the first time I got 25 and then 40. I just did a couple of the things. And you don't have a delete button as a student. I do as an instructor. So um, if I wanted to delete one of these, I could, but I won't. And then um, also I want to talk about this little bitty um, I there. So when I get to the end, after I upload this and um, SimNet grades it for me, um, you never use this button. It grades it when you make that choice up here in the upload my file. Um, it will tell you what you did right and wrong. So you can see there's a lot I didn't do in this one. I only did five of 20 in this one. I did eight of 20 things. But if I wanted to see what it is that I missed, I would click on that little eye and it will come up with this page. So we'll look at this in just a second. So first I would download the start file. I would print out the directions or I would look at them here. Now, because I have a small screen, when I open my Word document, um, I don't really have a lot of space to have both of these open at the same time. So for me, I would print it out. So there's different things I would do in here. Um, going through, I'm not gonna do that in here, I'm just explaining about projects here. Um, and I would do all the fixes um, I have I have an extra space there that I've missed. I haven't done any of the um, spell check or anything, etc. So I'm going to close this now, and we're going to look at uh, uploading it. So let's imagine that I actually did some work in there. Oh, I should say on these directions, as you go through them, you can click the little button here and then it'll say okay you've done with that and here's the next thing you need to do usually it will highlight the next thing I have so many things open on my computer it's not it's not behaving like it usually does there we go and then I've done that so this is the next thing when I do that the next thing opens there's also if you're a Mac user you need to make sure that you swing over to Mac um, because Mac has different colors and themes, etc. So the first couple, they're, you re, usually the directions are exactly the same, but as you get into the upper level stuff, they may change. So if you're using Mac, please make sure that you switch over to Mac for the directions. There's also best practices. The first time you do the projects, you might want to read through this. Um, I know it's a lot, but it's, uh, it, it is helpful. You might get something out of it. Um, I should also say that next to the start file, in the upper level, chapters three and four, when you start um, merging documents or inserting graphics or pictures and stuff like that, if SimNet asks you for a specific picture, it will give you that picture. You don't have to search the internet for a picture of a bicycle or something like that. So it'll be right over here next to the start file in a folder called resources. And this best practices talks about that extracting resource folders so um, when you download it you can uh, extract it 
I just double click on the folder. I save it to my desktop, double click on the folder, and um, and then that whatever it is is inside that you need, it's there. Um, one other thing uh, before I, I'm going to open Word again, because um, SimNet and OneDrive does not do not necessarily work well together. So if your com if your uh, system your computer automatically saves to OneDrive, you might want to make sure that you're saving it to um, the desktop or some other folder. So I save mine on the desktop and then when I get done with it I just throw it in the recycle bin, the, the trash. Um, so you can see that. So make sure that it uh, you're not saving it to OneDrive because when you download it, it doesn't always see, SimNet does not always see it. Okay, so I've, I've had done my document, I've done what I need, I've done the instructions and now I'm gonna upload. So I'm gonna click upload my folder or upload my file and here it is. I'm gonna open. And I have a choice. I can say, no, I'm not ready. And it will save the file for me right here in this area. Or I can say, yes, submit my file. So if I'm at the library and I don't have a flash drive or I didn't save it somewhere, or I don't know, I'm on someone else's computer, I can just say, no, I'm not ready. And it will save it for me here in the cloud in SimNet. But I'm just gonna say, yes, submit my file. So it should be exactly like the last one at 40% that I that I uploaded because I haven't done anything since then. And sure enough, there we are. So here is the, um, uh, here's, if I want to see my file, I can open Word and it's right there, or I can click this because this document here is not my file. This is what my file should look like. So it, there, there's some little helpful hints if you get stuck. What are they asking? I'm not quite sure. Is this word supposed to be bolded? You can upload and see um, what it is because you get three uploads. So if the first time you upload it, you're still having questions, don't worry about it. Just upload it. You'll see what you did or didn't do. And then you can quickly fix it, you know, in one or two minutes, go back and bold it or add the extra space or do whatever you need to do and upload it again you get three times. If you want four or five or six, just let me, just email me and I will um, turn it on so you can upload more times. Most students only do it, you know, once or twice, but um, if you want more, I'm happy to, to make it more than three. So you can see here, I have its blue, so I did partial here. So I did five on 5C and 5D, but I did not do fine on 5E. So I was supposed to add a 72 point before the paragraph. So that's wrong and it tells me it's wrong. And then I didn't do anything with these. So I, that's why I only got through number five. So I haven't done six, seven, eight. I guess there's not a nine or a 10 because there's, there's nothing there. Okay. And so then if I want to get back to where I upload, I just click on the word of the name of it. And it tells me I have no attempts remaining because I've done it three times. Again, just email me. I will, I will give you more attempts. Um, as an instructor, I have the delete button, so I can delete it. Um, but students don't have that option. Okay, and then I can go back to assignments, um, if I can get to it here. There we go. Now, once I've done it three times, oh, I should have done it, I should have left that three times so that I could show you. Once you've done it three times and you have no more attempts, it no longer shows up in this assignments area because you've already done it. The only place you can see it is submitted. But usually, um, after this, uh, the due date, not after the due date, but after when it turns off, you'll no longer see it in submitted. So these turn off the Sunday after they were due. They were due yesterday, so they'll turn off the 30th. So after the 30th, this note will no longer show in my submitted area, but I can go to the grades area, my grades link up here, and I can find it on here um, somewhere here. And why it says eight, I don't know. I don't know what eight means. 
Um, but I would say that, uh, not don't worry about that, but each one of these projects is worth 20 points. So, you know, if, and anything over 94 gets all 20 points. So again, I will give you a, um, a I'm gonna stop here. This is already long enough. Please email me any questions you have.